Hey everybody, it's Bart Johnson of Bart Johnson Productions and I just wanted to give you guys a quick overview of my new kit that I've put together for my GoPro Hero 3 camera. So what I have here is a Pelican 1500 case um, and I've got the GoPro labels and stickers on it. Um, I use Pelican cases for all of my gear. They're extremely durable, waterproof, dustproof, um, and they're just great cases. So uh, let me show you what I've got set up for my GoPro Hero 3 kit. All right, so in the kit here, I have pretty much everything you could ever need for any situation um, in the field using the GoPro camera. Um, I have the camera itself right here and everything else is just support equipment. Um, and I'll work through letting you know what I have in here. Um, I have the case set up with the pick and pluck foam. Uh, the foam is separated so that you can create your own custom um, pockets to fit all of your equipment in. So what I have here in the corner is I have the Wi-Fi remote that came with the GoPro Hero 3 Black Edition. Then here I have the GoPro LCD backpack and it comes in this nice little carrying case as well. But it's the touchscreen backpack that attaches to the back of the GoPro so that I can view in the field um, what I'm filming. And then of course I have the GoPro itself here and I have a, uh, a nice little lens cover for it. And that goes right in there. Um, over here, I have the dive housing. This is the dive housing that came with the Hero 3 Black Edition. Uh, it comes with all of the editions. Um, nice waterproof, durable, keeps it protected, doing some of the more dangerous setups and shots uh, for the camera. And right now, I actually have the touch back for it um, installed because that's the one I end up using the most with the LCD backpack. Uh, so this allows me to have it inside the case and I can still use the touch functions of the LCD screen. And moving over here, I have two screws. These are the two long screws. Um, I have these screws set aside because these are basically the most important screws. These are the ones that you use to actually mount the camera to any of your other mounts. So I keep these screws out and separate so that I can easily get to them. Um, over here, I have the GoPro Hero 3 frame kit. Um, I use this quite often when I'm in a situation where the, the camera isn't at risk of getting damaged uh, or wet or anything like that. This allows me to, to mount it and still have a lot more access to everything um, when this really is a little overkill for the situation. So. The kit comes with two frames. Uh, they are different sizes. This one fits just the camera itself, and this one fits the camera with an LCD backpack or a battery backpack attached to it. Uh, so these are really, really handy. Um, over here in the far corner, I have the cables. This is the USB cable for the GoPro camera itself to hook up to the computer. And this is the charging cable for the, for the Wi-Fi remote. So I have those cables in here. And moving down here, I have all of my additional doors and uh, back doors for the dive housing. Uh, these are the open doors that fit the backpacks. These are the closed waterproof doors. So you never know what situation you're gonna be in. So I like to always have these extra doors handy for any situation. Um, here I have five GoPro batteries. One of the biggest problems with the Hero 3 is that the battery life is, is really terrible. It usually only lasts about an hour to an hour and a half. And they do take a long time to charge. So I like to keep five fully charged batteries on hand and I have one battery that is the GoPro brand that came with the camera itself. And the other four are actually Wasabi Power. This is a kit that you can get on Amazon relatively cheap. 
and it's they're fantastic replacement batteries. They work fantastic. So uh, I picked up a bunch of those to make sure. And another part of that Wasabi Power Kit is that it comes with a wall charger. So the wall charger is quite handy. Uh, it'll charge up the regular GoPro battery as well as the Wasabi Power brands. So this thing is excellent to have. And it also came with a European plug adapter uh, to be able to plug it into the wall. And this is a car charging cable that came with it. So it's got everything you need to be able to charge pretty much anywhere in the world, anywhere you may be. So then the next most important thing, of course, is media. Here I have a Pelican 0915 case. Uh, these are really handy. I use these for all of my media cards. This one is specifically set up for the micro SD and SD cards. These are actually adapters that came with the SanDisk micro SD cards. So I keep all of my media here um, in another smaller Pelican case. Nice wallet sized, can pop it in your pocket uh, if you need to swap out a card while you're on set. So the next thing I have here, these are actually tethers that I made myself. Um, I have them clipped together nice and organized here. And what they are is they're actually coated wire rope. Uh, it's rated up to 98 pounds, but uh, I made four of these and I have them in four different lengths. I have one foot, two foot, three foot, and four foot tethers. And I use these as a little bit of extra insurance when I'm, say, mounting it to my car or something like that. In case the suction cup mount that I use fails, I still have this, this backup tether to, to be hanging on to something. So these are really, really handy. And I made these myself. You can do it relatively cheap. I think it was about $9 for all the materials to make these. And one thing you wanna make sure is that you get the coated wire rope. Um, I got it coated, it's got a thin plastic coating over it because if it does come loose, you don't want metal scraping along the side of your car and scraping up the paint, especially if it's not your car that you happen to be using. So I've got those all in there for any situation I may need. Over here I have the suction cup mount that I was referring to. This is the GoPro brand uh, suction cup mount for the car. This thing is really strong, really great. You can get some amazing shots um, mounting with this. So I always have that on hand. Also over here, what I have is a couple of tripods. This is the GoPro tripod mount. This mount allows you to attach the GoPro to anything with a quarter 20 thread, so that's really handy. Um, I have a cheap little $4 tripod here. Um, nice, sturdy, easy, uh, quick setup just in case I ever need it. And then I also have, for some of the trickier situations, the Joby Gorilla Pod. And these are great because you can bend and flex and you know wrap it around branches and trees or anything that you need in order to pull off some, some difficult angles and shots. So I like to make sure I have all those with me at all times. And then the last thing I have in here is I have this little pouch. And inside the pouch is where I keep all of my mounts and elbows and screws. So I keep them all nice and organized in this little pouch. And these little pouches are fantastic. You can get them on Amazon. Uh, it's a company's called Custom Leathercraft um, and they're zippered poly pouches. This is the medium size. It comes in a kit of three for like $7. I have so many of these. I use them for everything, loose bits, adapters, screws, hardware, anything. So these things are fantastic to pick up uh, really cheap on Amazon. So we've got that right there. Finally, I have a few items that I store up in the top of the foam up here. You can remove down. Um, here I have here I have an HDMI cable. It's regular HDMI to micro HDMI. Uh, so if I ever want to use an external monitor to view what the GoPro is seeing, um, I can use this to connect to it. So I just keep that stored and hidden up here. I don't use it very often. Um, I have the base plate from the GoPro packaging. 
As everyone knows, uh, there's tons of videos and reviews online of everybody saying how handy this thing is and to definitely keep it. You can use it to clamp into any situation and you've got a, it's just another free mount so I don't know why you would get rid of it. So make sure to hang on to that definitely when you get your GoPro. And last, I have another one of those custom leather craft zippered poly pouches and in here I keep my adhesive mounts. So I have the, the curved, couple curved, and, and the flat mounts. So I keep these separate because once you use these and attach it to something, um, they're not coming back off intact. So I keep them here because they're pretty much disposable. If I get more, I'll add them to the pouch. As I use them, I take them out, stick them on a helmet or something. They're not coming off of the helmet at the end of the day and going back in the pouch. So I keep them up here. They're kind of a disposable, cheap mounts. So I like to keep those in here as well and keep them up here. And so put everything back together. And so that's everything that I have in my Pelican case uh, kit for my GoPro Hero 3. Um, you just take everything and seal it up, lock it tight, and you are ready to go and off onto a shoot. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the review. Uh, I hope my case and my kit might give you some ideas of how to put together your own kit for your, your own GoPro. Uh, there's definitely tons of different things you could add to this kit or even subtract from it. I may have gone a little bit overkill, but I just like to be prepared for pretty much any situation I may run into when I'm out in the field shooting. So this kit really has pretty much everything that I need, and right now I've been extremely happy with it, and uh, thanks for watching.